Hey girlfriends. Okay, so I just did a 3D foundation tutorial that is posted on my Instagram, so go check that out. Um, it's just a medium coverage using the 3D brush that was the very first brush that Kara released when mascara became a thing, um, and it's on clearance for 40% off, I believe, still. Um, don't quote me on it. They go fast, but I believe that one is still 40% off. So um, such a great one. If you don't know which one it is that I'm talking about, it's this one right here. So um, I just did a medium coverage look with this. That, but I want to show you uh, an eye look. So you would have received an email from Saint showing um, the favorite orange eyeshadows. And so I want to share them with you. And I want to do just a simple look with three of the colors. So the colors were Valencia, Ginger, Crush, and Leo. So I'm going to use, I'm not using Crush today, but I am going to use Valencia, Ginger, and Leo. And then my handy dandy vanilla dust. Um, and then we'll just kind of see what comes alive with this as I do it. Um, but first things first is I'm going to get started. Let me move this stuff actually in front of me so I stop turning around on you guys. But first things first, I'm going to get started using this Urban Decay. I've been experimenting with it for you guys um, as an eyeshadow primer. So I only use primer when I'm doing like an eyeshadow look. If I'm just doing like a simple one color wash, I really don't use it at all. But I um, I am just doing it. I'm just going to apply it with my multitasker brush right to the lid. I love it because it's really lightweight and it's really easy to blur out. It doesn't feel heavy or anything and it's been fine for my eyes and it's worked really well. I actually just did it on one of my friends, an artist on my team. I did her makeup for a maternity shoot and it was so rad. It looked so good and She's here in the Arizona heat, over 100 degrees, and um, her eyeshadow lasted the entire time. So yay for that. <laughs> so that's what I'm using these days. Okay, so next what we're gonna do is I'm going to do my vanilla dust. I'm just gonna start there. I'm gonna use my smudge brush, and I'm just gonna create a base on here. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but. I love it. I also use cupcake, but if I don't have cupcake in my palette, which is very rare, but I had too many things in here, then I will use cupcake. Okay, so let's start there. I'm just gonna wipe that off. And then I'm gonna go over to the rounded side and I'm going to go into Valencia first. And you guys know me, I love this color. So I'm just gonna do a really pretty wash on my brow bone. I recommend trying to keep your eye open as much as possible when you're doing your eye so that you can see what it looks like. Obviously close it if you need to, but then just wash, 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 windshield wiper wash right there. Okay, so there's Valencia. So then I'm gonna stick with the same brush. You really don't have to wipe it if you don't want to because it's really similar in pigment, but I'm gonna go into Leo next and I'm just going to press Leo right here. This color can look really scary, you guys, but oh, it is so good. And then I'm just going to press it right there. Look at that. Okay. And then I'm going to swipe that. I'm just kind of making this up as I go with you guys right now. <laughs> so let's do that on the other side right here. You can already see how much my blue eyes have seriously popped. And this color will look so good on literally every color eye, you guys. That's the like magic of oranges, but they really make green eyes and blue eyes pop like magic. I feel like that's too heavy there, so I'm gonna keep just kind of blending and moving it around. Okay. So good. Maybe that's just in my camera. Yeah, I feel like that's just in my camera because it doesn't look like I have a pile right there. Okay, so that must just be a dark spot on my eye right there. Okay, so, um, okay, there, so I was just reading a text message that came in. <laughs> so next what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to take my Leo again, but I'm going to flip over. I'm going to use my eyeshadow brush for this one. So I'm going to use the small smudgy side 
and let's go right there. And I'm gonna go under my eye just a little bit. And then I'm gonna flip over to the fluffy side that has nothing on it and soften that so that it's not a heavy line. Mm -hmm. You guys hear Doc McStuffins in the background? Okay, so we're not done yet, but just watch what happens after this. I have something in my mind. I have a vision and I hope it works the way that I want it to. But I'm gonna go right here under this eye and apply that to you guys. With these colors, I need mascara. I actually, I'm totally out of my false eyelashes, so I look super bald. I prefer falsies over mascara, but I'm gonna use mascara today because that's what I have. Okay, so this is where the magic is gonna happen. So I'm gonna go into ginger now, still using the smudgy side, and I'm gonna pack that on. Okay, and I'm gonna dust it off. And I'm only going to do this, actually, we're gonna do this. We're gonna use the multitasker brush. We're gonna use this one. That's what I'm gonna do, okay. Because I want it to be a really thin line. Because I want it to just hit where I want it to, right on that lash line. I don't know if you guys will be able to see this, but it's just going to be right there. Can you see that, the difference? I don't think I can like zoom in on my phone. Okay, but look at that, and that's so pretty. Okay, other side. See, this is the thing with eyeshadows. You guys, I create stuff just as I'm going. I have like a vision and then I'm like, okay, let's see what happens with it. And I have done this the entire time that I've been an artist. I've just kind of watched videos and I've grown and learned just like you guys do watching my videos and other saint artists. That's exactly where I started too. I, just like you, like I'm literally just like you. Um, and I'm just deciding to learn and just take it to the next level because I wanna learn more. So that's a really cool part about being a saint artist that I've been able to do. Um, yay! Okay, so the next thing that I'm gonna do is just, now I'm gonna take, cause I, like I said, I'm just kinda going with it. I'm gonna take, go back to the smudge side and I'm gonna use the rounded end and go into the ginger and apply that just right to the corner. I try not to do um, my brow bone with the shimmer. I wanna leave that all matte, but I wanna include a little bit of shimmer on the top right there and just kind of bring that in. So gorgeous. Okay, let's finish with mascara and see what happens. Okay, so when I do do mascara, I use this L'Oreal Luminous to give my lashes a full look. So if you have Crush, Crush would actually be really pretty to put right in the pop in the center because it is brighter. See, I'm thinking of all this stuff as I go. And this is why I love helping you guys as your artist because when you guys ask me about, okay, I wanna do this color, how should I wear it? That's what goes through my mind. I'm like, okay, how, where can we put this color and this color? Um, so that's how all of my visions and everything come to life is when you guys ask me those questions and then I'm like, oh, let's create this look. So it's literally a community, you guys. We can't do this without each other. So. I'm so grateful and I value you guys so much in your outreaches and just all of you guys as human beings. Okay, so weird, right? I look like I have snow on my eyes. Ah! And then I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Caviar Mascara, one of my absolute favorites. And I need to get a new one because this is starting to dry out. But when you apply mascara, do um, a sawing motion right at the base at your skin so that you can really, that's where you want the fullness to begin in your mascara, is right at the lash line. And then you can extend everything out. Right there. Okay. 
I could spend forever. Brows and my mascara are two things that I could like literally be so nitpicky about, which is why I get extensions or do false lashes because they just are something that I spend way too much time on. But see how pretty this color is with, and now with the mascara, the black is just so glorious. So if you guys don't have these colors, add them to your shopping bag, add them to your wish list, go get them now. They're so pretty. If you got the email, let me know. If you didn't get the email, then check your spam or your promotions folder. Mine always go to my promotions folder, so I have to always go in. Thank you, Gmail, for separating everything out. Sometimes I don't want it separated. <laughs> and so um, go peek at that because Saint always sends out the prettiest stuff. So I am putting it on my lower lashes today just because I have this rad look going on and that way it'll really open up my eyes okay so there's my eyeshadow look and all of the things so if you guys want to see what colors i wore on the rest of my face go check out my igtv um on instagram i'll show that so that you can see everything in my lips and all of the things but you guys so pretty so I'll create this palette for you guys if you want the colors that were in the email. I'll just create it for you guys. So just tap that link and it will send you directly to it. So you can just add it or you can alter it or whatever things that you want. Reach out to me if you have any questions. And if you have these colors already, please try this look or your version of this look and then post it in our group so that we can all see it and just ooh, googly eye all over you girls. So, okay, you guys have the most amazing day. I hope that you like this look. Um, and if you do like this look, share it with a friend. I would love to welcome them into our community as well. And um, always know I'm here for you.